we're on a road trip, in case you guys couldn't tell. <laughs> it started out that we're going up to visit Jessica's brother and our sister-in-law, Michael and Cher. What we're gonna do it, we're gonna make a whole trip out of it. On the way to Rhode Island, we are going to stop at a place called Seven Springs Resort. Oh man, this is, this is wild. She's laughing. Oh. We're pulling off the exit right now into her. She were like eight minutes away. Crazy. This is huge. This is, this is wow. beautiful. Oh. We have checked into our room at the Hotel Hershey. And so it's like, yeah, let's go to the bathroom. Hello, hello. We made it to Newport. We got yeah. we got in last night, like what, like 9.30? So the Michael and Cher are here. Hey. The ones are visiting. So tell us about the history, Michael. Yeah, picture of you originally built in 1830. 1799, 1723, and 1775, 1775, 1770 to 1800. The undisputed giant among giants in Newport is the Breakers. The 70-room grand mansion we see today was built in 1895 by Cornelius Vanderbilt II. It's such a nice day. Well, good morning, boys and girls. We're going to go over to Martha's Vineyard today, which I am very, very much looking forward to. Yeah, there's Martha's Vineyard right over there. started out as a short weekend trip to visit Jessica's brother, turned into a two-week, 2,000-mile road trip all over America's Northeast. On top of visiting Uncle Mikey and Aunt Cher in Rhode Island, we hit up some spots in Pennsylvania, made our way north through Massachusetts and Maine, saw some sights in New York, and for good measure, we tacked on two days in Niagara Falls. Before we knew it, we had built ourselves, dare I say it, an epic road trip full of historical sights, unforgettable scenery, and lots of beer, wine, and whiskey. We braved snowy roads and we enjoyed sunny weather. We toured mansions and ate in taverns older than our country. We explored amazing sights, learned a lot, and laughed even more. So pack your bags and come along. It's time for a Braun family road trip. Good morning, Good Newport Gnome! That's not how that works. I not expecting you to say that. No. We just met a subscriber. So we are going where? We're going to Bell's Cafe at the Newport Shipyard. Gee, she's down there! Woo! This is cool. <laughs> so we're at Bell's Cafe, and this is awesome. It really is awesome. Yeah. You can't really see outside. But, oh, there we go. Yeah, it's got views of the water. It's just too uh, chill. Back there, you can see some ships. Mm -hmm. yeah. Classic. It's also Gigi approved. She's totally she she chilling. She's, she's like a happy girl. girl. She's a coastal baby. She's a coastal baby. What do you know that? Gigi. Hi, Gigi. All about brunching and boozing. Gigi, Gigi, she's never had it. She's never had watermelon. You want to try it out? Look, Genevieve. Smile. Yummy. Genevieve. Watermelon. Gigi. Jesus, I watched me. Yeah. Try it out. <laughs> it's good. I don't know. Those teeth. Teeth. Dino teeth. Dino teeth. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> After breakfast, Michael and Cher treated us to a drive around Newport to see some of the most famous sites, such as the Newport Bridge and the Toro Synagogue, which is the oldest synagogue in America dedicated in 1763. As we were driving around, Gigi ended up falling asleep in the car, so we continued driving around, and continued driving around, and continued driving around until finally making a stop at the Redwood Library. Father All right, so we're leaving. We're leaving here right now. We're leaving the, the Redwood Library, the, the Redwood Lending Library in America. Yeah, and so we got. Uh, they had a little thing in the front. They were like books they were getting rid of. So like I grabbed this book here that Jessica's holding. It's called Europe, 1450 to 1789. It was printed in 1923. But I'm like, that's like Europe's my beat. So I'm like, that's that's. My beat. So yeah, so I thought that was pretty cool. And then Michael got a couple books. What did you get? Uh, the uh, I don't know what they are, the City of I Nonsense. Know. What are some 1909? The, city of, the yeah. city of Beautiful Nonsense from 1909. And then yeah, the open window. Yeah, and they have these really nice book plates at the front that say Redwood. Yeah, Library, show the front there. Oh, and How to Trace Your Family Tree because that's what he's doing right now. Oh, yeah, it show says the, Newport. That's yeah. Cool. So yeah, see that. 
So there, boom, free free souvenir. <laughs> How cool is that? It's very neat, actually. You guys want to buy this? We just parked the car. We're walking down a little uh, up to up to Thames up here, right? Yes. Oh, I know. See this thing? You're just walking by and you see this like ornate stuff. It's unreal. Um, but we're walking to. Uh, there's a little museum up here. Might hit some gift shops. We're just gonna yeah. see some cool stuff. 1750. Yeah, stuff built in 1750. Like oh, you don't have that <laughs> in Indy. The Museum of Newport History is a small but rather interesting museum located in Brick Market, a building dating back to 1762. After passing through the delightfully quirky gift shop, the museum provides an introduction to Newport's rich history for the whole family. It offers glimpses into the lives of people both past and present that have made Newport one of America's most historic cities. Some of the exhibits include a printing press owned by James Franklin, brother of Ben Franklin, a letter from George Washington to the Newport Artillery Company, furniture and paintings from Newport's past, and the figurehead from the yacht Aloha. He's taking a picture of it, but that is actually a an original letter written by George Washington. George Washington. That's so cool. This museum is so cool. There's so much history. It's so free. Just in this one little town. Yeah, it's a free little museum. So this right here, this is this is Benjamin Franklin's older brothers. No, you're good. <laughs> So it's Benjamin Franklin's older brothers. James Franklin, in 1717, uh, he was serving as a printer's assistant in England, and he brought with him this absolute, or this actual press you see in front of you. It was made in London of an unseasoned English elm wood. It was probably built towards the end of the 1600s. That's so cool. Yeah, let's do it. Well, it's a 51 cent souvenir. Yeah, it's not All right, we're getting, yeah. So this is another uh, penny press here. We're getting another one yeah. for Gigi's we'll little yeah, book. Yeah. Oh, it's so cute. You're shaking the whole thing, <laughs> Michael. The whole thing's in it. Oh. Yeah. Nice and warm. Hold on, let's see, if I, let's see if I can get it to focus. Oh, yeah. All right, that's Gigi, beautiful. Put this in, eat it. All right, that's for you, Gigi. <laughs> She yeah, says, I don't, I don't care right now. I, oh, I that's awesome. Yeah. That's cool, yeah, that's where that's we're going to so, so it says Newport cute. on it, that's nice. Yeah, that's really Yeah, cool. we definitely gotta go to the lighthouse. What do you think, Gigi? Oh, yeah. What do you think? Is that pretty cool? Little White Horse Tavern. Yeah. yeah. Night cats, we'll have more night So we went to, it was oh, yeah, called Empire. Empire, Empire Coffee. Empire. Empire. And uh, Michael here, we were just at a gift shop and they had a uh, grab bag. So it was 20 items for $5. 40 cents an item. I'm not a math major, but I think that's yeah, right. Okay. So it's we're gonna. Wrong, we're gonna... And I did the exact same math, and I realized. <laughs> oh, no. is it, and I realized Wait, it's 25 cents. Think oh, about we're it. stupid. But we, it took. No, you're right. Well, how would you get it? Like, that's right. what I use the car for. Like that. <laughs> what is wrong? No, oh, I knew he's like really good at math, so I helped some. I was like, just oh, 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 I said, oh, 40 oh, cents. Yeah, 40 cents times five is 200 dollars. 200 cents. And I thought, wait. That's, That's not what right. it was. 20. I said 20 Four times five, five is 20. Five that sounds good. Five <laughs> You're a heart. Right, so we're about to find out what all you got. Here we go. My first haul. Get it. <laughs> you don't have to be too careful. I'm not saving the bag. The bag was one of the items. Wait, you think the bag is one of the items? Don't look at it. You have a bag. You have a bag. Whoa, I live for drama. Oval magnet. I've been waiting for one of those. There's a lot going on with that. Oh, a used piece of taffy. One individual oh, half open piece of taffy. Half open! Half open! Oh my gosh. Oh, thank God, there's more. Oh, okay. There's three items. Are those the 20 oh, Okay. <laughs> oh, it has like a raisin in it. Or, <laughs> or a tooth. Or a tooth. Ooh, a nice shell. That's actually kind of nice here. You put that in your bathroom. Never mind. Okay, more taffy. That's not Thanks. fair. Oh! A little Newport, Rhode Island keychain. All right, that's kind of cool. Newport, Rhode Island keychain. That's not bad. Okay, okay. It's all yellowed. Oh, yeah. I've been there in the nineties. <laughs> okay, going on here. Whoa, not things that were ten dollars on sale. For... Okay, this is a nightmare. Well, that's two items. Well, you work on that one. Oh, another shell. <laughs> nice. Oh, Wisconsin shot glass. That's what I've always wanted from Rhode Island. 
Wisconsin. Yeah, is it Wisconsin? Oh my god. Look, you have this little cheese on it, cows. <laughs> so random. Oh, of course, more half open taffy. Okay. <laughs> the taffy better have been one item. Ew, a shark tooth. Sea glass, maybe? Yes, dude! Margaret's bar! I wish I knew someone named Margaret. <laughs> a sweet gift. Hey! No, wait, crunch! Oh wait, that's in Connecticut. And that's in Providence. So you haven't been. <laughs> that's Mystic Seaport, though. That's kind of funny. We take my class on a field trip there. That's what I'm saying. Have you gone to Mystic Pizza? Yeah. Well, no. Oh, let's see. Let's see these necklaces here. Tell me how you feel about this. <laughs> Zoom in. <laughs> Shark tooth. It's like. No, John Candy does that in plane trains and automobiles. Shark shower tooth curtain rings. When they need money, so he sells them as like not that. Beautiful. They're filled with. All right, a few more items here, I think. I'm, I lost track. So scary. Like, of course, a little tattoo, a little temporary Michael, tattoo. Putting that on your, your lower back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's kind of cool. Newport, Rhode Island oh, sticker. That's, that's way too big for anything. Oh, that's cool. Oh, on oh, eagle's wing. <laughs> <laughs> Another <laughs> magnet. On eagle's wing. This is more 20, or the taffy counts as one. That's kind of cool. Veronica Court? That's a very specific place. Oh. Savior Court? <laughs> what? No, 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 no. Veronica. Is that two Veronica things? Yeah, Veronica Court and Veronica. I really wish I knew somebody named Veronica. Justin. Justin. It'd have been way cooler if it was like Michael, like my name. I think that's it. Yeah, in the bag. I think that's the 20th item. You did a really good job on your first haul. Very random, thanks. One of our favorite things to do when we travel is visit wineries, breweries, distilleries, and the like, and Newport Vineyards quickly became one of our new favorites. We opted for the wine tasting, but this place offers so much more, including an event venue, a tap room, and a restaurant. This is so cool. This is very cool. So you pick, yeah, so you can pick five wines uh, from the list to, to taste. We're having the dry rosé, which... Is the wine of the month. We just got to the uh, Castle Hill restaurant. We just ordered our drinks. Um, we got a couple old fashions, and then the girls got a bottle of wine. Gigi's eating uh, oyster crackers, so life is good. It's, this restaurant is unbelievably beautiful, but it just happens that it's restaurant week that we're here, so we're getting everything like half price, which is awesome. Because, yes, but look at this view. Yeah, that's our view today. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't suck. We've had a very enjoyable dinner, although we keep having to switch off. Uh, some, like Jessica's out there in the lobby with Gigi. I just got back from watching her because she's just she was sitting here and uh, she was just kind of over it. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> so we now have uh, we, we've had our three courses. This is our third course, the dessert, and then you got what did you get? Some corn? Bavarian corn and something. Something. Yeah. It's like it was like a corn ice cream chocolate. Oh, it's very good. Yeah. And then you and Jessica both got the. Uh, Chocolate mousse, and then I got cereal, cereal milk panna cotti or panna something, panna torta, panna cotti, whatever. Anyway, uh, it, I'm real excited to get in, get involved in that. All right, Michael, Michael, I was gonna eliminate this. Wait, get out of here. Loved your own joke. It's so good. All right, Michael, where are we? We are currently at the White Horse Tavern. Established in 1673 as a restaurant and bar. Uh, it is the oldest bar in the United States of America, and anybody who disputes that is an idiot. <laughs> and Michael has walk spoken. Walk in here for one moment and just look around and like, smell the burning wood and the, the light tinge of salt air from the bay only a few blocks away. You can just imagine, almost as if it were yesterday, George Washington himself strolling down from Trinity Church in here to give a little quick talk as a little town meeting. Probably not having a drink. He was a prude, but uh, you know, <laughs> certainly the townspeople were drinking. <laughs> sent to walk all the way to the top of the bell tower and actually place one lantern if the British were going to be marching by sea. Um, 
or one if I land, I already messed it up, <laughs> two if I see. We're on board the USS Constitution. It is the oldest commissioned warship in the United States Navy and in the world. We are at Bunker Hill, yeah. Battle of Bunker Hill, uh, which was actually fought on Breed's Hill here in Charlestown, Massachusetts. This is where the Boston Massacre occurred. Our little eyes are smiling.